Hi, my name is Alan Post. This is part of REST220. What I'm going to describe to you now is the mode of MMV, or mandatory minute ventilation. What's important about this mode is that, generally speaking, it is a mode of continuous spontaneous ventilation. So the patient is allowed to breathe spontaneously and control their minute ventilation, and often we have pressure support set on the ventilator. So it's pressure support. The difference being in this mode is that if the patient, for some reason, because of maybe they've lost neural control of ventilation and they've gone unconscious, or they may have been heavily sedated, and their ventilatory requirements change. In other words, they're not spontaneously breathing anymore. This mode will kick in and take over ventilation for the patient. So it'll switch from, say, a continuous spontaneous ventilation to a CMV mode where, or actually it would be better terminology, an IMV mode, where the ventilator will establish the minimum ventilatory requirements. Should the patient wake up or regain consciousness and start to rebreathe again and take over their breathing, once again, the ventilator would switch back to a continuous spontaneous mode of ventilation. So a CSV, continuous spontaneous ventilation. If, once again, they go unconscious or something changes the patient, they become tired and are not meeting their minute ventilation requirements, after a very short period of time, the ventilator realizes that the patient's not breathing adequately and will kick in and give mandatory breaths. So this mode is a unique mode in that it combines some safety features into it without causing alarms. You can set up a minimum amount of ventilation for your patient, thus the term mandatory minute ventilation. That in this case, I've got a tidal volume of 600 by a rate of 10, so 6 liters per minute. If at any time the patient breathes less than that, the ventilator will kick in and augment their inspiratory effort or totally take over and give mandatory breaths to ensure that minimum minute ventilation is achieved. If the patient is spontaneously breathing and does not require any assistance, the ventilator will ignore the mandatory settings as long as the patient is spontaneously breathing. So, to many people, this is considered a safety mode. And an example of how this might be used is in, uh, say, a post-op recovery, where patients come out unconscious, so they can be placed on the MD MMV with minimal settings. And as they regain consciousness and start breathing spontaneously on their own, maybe with the addition of a small amount of pressure support to augment their inspiratory efforts, the mode would actually switch from a CMV or an IMV mode to a continuous spontaneous mode of ventilation. So let's take a look at those settings. So once again we have the Avita ventilator, but this time we're in the mode of MMV. The basic settings on this are you establish a tidal volume, a TI, and a flow, uh, frequency or rate. You've got this ramp which we'll talk about sometime when we're learning more details about the Avita ventilator and your peep, le your peep level and your level of pressure support. Now at this time we've got established that the combination of a tidal volume of 600 by a rate of 10 would give us a minute ventilation of about 6 liters. So as long as our patient is breathing below that the ventilator will kick in and give mandatory breaths to ensure the patient receives that six liters of minute ventilation. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the patient to spontaneously breathe. So we're getting our small level of pressure support and those little spikes now are the patient's own spontaneous respiratory efforts. And it takes long deep full breaths followed by a few short breaths. But now all the breaths are continuous, spontaneous ventilation with just the addition of a little bit of pressure support. So the patient's doing most of the work of breathing right now. The pressure support is augmenting some of their inspiratory efforts. 
Should they go apneic, stop breathing now, what happens, the ventilator will sense this decline in minute ventilation and initiate mandatory breaths to ensure that our patient receives at least a minimum amount of ventilation. The trick with this mode is to decide what to set the MV level at. Five to six liters is usually the standard, but if it's set too high, the patient won't feel the need to spontaneously breathe because the ventilator will be doing all the work of breathing for them. So that's something to keep in mind. So the mode of MMV is kind of a safety mode. The target or the goal of this mode of ventilation is to have the patient spontaneously breathe. When this mode is set up properly, the patient will be awake and alert, spontaneously breathing, not requiring any assistance from the ventilator. Should the unusual occur, though, where the patient becomes apneic or goes unconscious because of pain control or for a wide variety of reasons, the ventilator, though, is smart enough to recognize this situation and switch over to an IMV mode, in this case, pressure regulated volume control mode, to augment their minute ventilation and to give them mandatory breaths until the point that they either start over-breathing the ventilator or you switch modes. You'll notice no alarms occur when this, when this action occurs, and that's because it's designed into this mode of ventilation. You've got backup safety alarms to make sure that if the patient was over-breathing or something doesn't occur, it will alarm. But if properly set up, this mode could be kicking in and out, and you may even be unaware that whether the patient is riding the ventilator as they are right now, or spontaneously breathing on their own. You'd have to come over and take a look and evaluate that for yourself. It's very responsive. Any changes in patient's minute ventilation and the ventilator cuts out its mandatory breaths very, very quickly. Also, if the patient stops breathing, it doesn't take more than about 30 seconds for the ventilator to recognize this fact and to start initiating pressure regulated volume control breaths this particular manufacturer's design of MMV. MMV can be used with volume control, pressure regulated volume control, or just regular pressure control, depending on the manufacturer's specifications. That's the mode of mandatory minute